This recent guest on No Jumper just walked out mid-interview after threatening to beat up Adam. I'm but saying, but it's weird. like, though, like, yeah, why is he ever? You know what that if is. If that's the, that's dissing the Goof up on the day. There used to be an era in rap media, like the prime Vlad TV era, where gang members would go and sit down with white men and confess all their crimes and sins. But that era is over with. And right now, they're more cautious than usual. So when Adam22 and this dude sits down, and Adam asked him, yo, what's some crazy things you've seen as a kid? His response will tell you he's super on edge. So were you raised around seeing all this crazy going on all around you growing up? Or what was that like? Yeah, I seen everything. Give me some examples of some wild shit you seen. No, I can't give you no example of wild shit I seen. Really? Hell no. It's just that consistent? Everything was so wild you can't even name one? I can't just name it. It's wild. It's just wild period. But because we're dealing with gang members here, bro, they're unpredictable, and logic probably isn't the strongest suit. Because bro went from being super on edge when Adam asked him what are some crazy things he witnessed as a kid to telling Adam when he got put on the set. Like, at what age did you get put on? When I was 12. 12? Is that normal to get put on 12? Or is that a little early? So I know people got put on before that. Right. What was that day like? Regular. I was already over there. I grew up right there. Everybody was right there. It's the same people that still there now are in jail. But you just said, I'm ready to make it official? Nah. I stalled. I stalled for like a year. Oh, so they told you it's time. And you were No, I'm talking about myself. It's time. Nobody going to tell me nothing. Okay. It's like it's time. I'm, I'm my own person. But you waited a, a year just because you yeah. weren't looking forward to it? No, I was weighing my options. Hmm. What were the other options? No, I do, so no, I follow. <laughs> now, this is something new that I didn't know. D1 athletes have signing day where they bring everybody around and let their family and the world know what college they're signing to. Apparently, gangbanging is the same thing. They got a blue hat and a red hat, and they do a signing day where they tell the hood what set they're going to be claiming. Now, he goes from telling Adam exactly when he got put on the set to when he got shot, how he got shot, and where he got shot at. I got shot when I was 15. 15? And I just got shot a month ago. Whoa. What happened when you were 15? Come out from school. Just go to YU. Come out from school. With the armies walking. Weird. Tagging up walls and shit. Somebody probably seen us and they walked up on us. Really? Mm -hmm. So that was that was common shit for you at the time. You guys were doing a lot of graffiti, just everything, just being outside. Period. Right. And then what? Somebody just drives by and just shoots at you. Walk up. Walked up. Mm -hmm. Where they shoot you? In my ass. Really? Yeah. So they like aim down. <laughs> He's funny. I mean, with, you're you're <laughs> describing it like they were that. That's why I got hit. At. Yeah, it was close like this. Like where we at right now? Right. I'm not a gang member, bro, so I can't tell you the logic. But wouldn't the question about when you got put on the set or, or or who shot you or how did you get shot, wouldn't that be the question you'll be more skeptical of opposed to the first question about things you experienced as a kid? Now, apparently he realizes, though, that he's talking a little too much and saying a little bit too much information. And he straight up tells Adam, bro, do we got to keep on talking about the gang stuff, man? Because, okay, that's one thing that I think is kind of wild about the whole gang man thing is that there's such a negative thing about changing your set, but in the workforce or whatever, it's like. Why we gotta keep talking about game bang? <laughs> well, I mean, this, this part of your life seems pretty significant, right? Yeah, but we gotta keep talking about this game bang. You feel me? But here's the thing, all right? <laughs> Adam and most interviewers are faced with the difficult decision of telling this person in front of you, like, bruh. <laughs> If we can't talk about the street stuff, the op stuff, or the gang stuff, there's not much for us to talk about. So Adam just straight up asks this man, like, bro, like, what do you want to talk about? I don't incriminate myself. I make sure I don't. Mm -hmm. So what do you want to talk about? Yeah. Oh, you want to know what I'm talking about? Sure. Until they both finally come to the conclusion that they don't got much to talk about, like, at all. How long Free have we been going? <laughs> Free Treyway. 35? See, I owe you guys more than 35. 35 is a little too short. We're going to have to tough this thing out together. <laughs> I mean, my boy T-Row had me for what, huh? 45 minutes? Uh, I think it was probably 40. So we got to definitely beat that. 
Now, Adam realizing he don't got much to talk about, like nothing at all, he brings up the age-old question of, give me your top five rappers. Yeah, yeah. Who's the top five Hoover rappers of all time? And please think about this a lot before you, you said answer. All this, time? We're talking the Mount Rushmore. But instead of giving an actual answer, they do this thing that most niggas do whenever they're asked this question during an interview. They shout out all their homies that we don't know. MG's hard right now. CH is hard right Everybody's now. Going Young Threat is going crazy right now. Oh. Uh, free Jap 5. <laughs> but while he was shouting out his homies that we probably don't know, some we do know, some we don't know. But while he was shouting them out, Adam who then interviewed probably more gangbanging rappers than anybody else to ever live, realized that Buddy just unlocked a new vernacular in niggadom, right? A word called crazy. Can you explain yeah. crazy to me? Where the T? It's crazy. just like crazy, yeah. Right, but why? You know how blood say it's crazy? Yeah, but why the T? Because it's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. It's just, you know, that's our lingo. Why are you asking so many questions? <laughs> I mean, like, I'm trying to learn. Going what you going I never heard crazy. If there was a blood in here and they would say a brazy, you would have been like, oh, yeah, oh what is crazy? Well, that's old news. We already, we already know you that. You ain't never heard crazy? I mean, no. Nah. Now, depending on your opinion of Adam, how you judge what Adam says next is all up to interpretation. Because Adam may be accidentally without knowing or purposely, who knows? He correlates... <laughs> Them replacing the C in crazy with T to their ops replacing the H in their names with SN, which is a derogatory term to call somebody who's from Hoover. There's a lot of stuff like that. I'm not going to say crazy it. Been out. I'm, I'm not going to say it in front of you, but the, the, the replacing of the H's with things in words has created some very viral catchphrases that you see in like the YouTube comments and shit like what that. What is he talking about? You said what? I'm trying to say <laughs> it without <laughs> saying it. Wait, no, you lost me. I ain't People gonna lie. be turning the H to that, SN. As soon as SN came out of Adam's lips, the entire room got dead quiet for at least three seconds. And then they tripped on Adam. And so then there's oh. a bunch of... Oh, he went... Come on, bro. bro. But like, how offensive do you find that when you see someone right saying now, that? Why you being right weird? now? Why you? Yeah, yeah being weird just, because I'm, like, I'm not weird. gonna say it. Nah, you not. We know you're not yeah, gonna but say it. But it's weird, like, though. like, yeah, why would you ever? You know what that if, is? If that's yeah, weird, that's dissing the set. Right. So, so like, why would yeah, you we don't. Everybody don't weird. Yeah. I'm just wondering what you guys think of it. Adam was for sure not expecting them to react in that manner. He was probably expecting the yo, bro, chill. But they were truly and deeply offended of him. Asking about the ops dissing them using that word before again, and that's what I don't like. I don't understand. Maybe it's because I'm not a gay member, right? He didn't say the word. He asked how they feel about the ops saying it. Now, at this point, Adam wasn't expecting that reaction, so he starts <laughs> asking them questions that are kind of like self-explanatory, such as, "Yo, know, how do you feel about them saying it? I just want to know <laughs> what well, they hate it." That's obvious, right? <laughs> What you like mean? how offensive it ranks. Right now. Boy, this nigga freaky. <laughs> he crazy. That's too freaky. You wanna know how we feel about it? Yeah. Nigga f goof up on the day. Is it like, is it now for y'all who don't quite understand nigga knees or nigga them, when he says we gonna F Groover up on the dead homies, that means he swear on his dead homies grave that they gonna beat up Adam for asking that question. Now, at this point, Adam probably caught the lingo, and he's probably a little, little panicky, bro. Like, yo, yo, are these dudes serious right now, bro? Are they trolling me? But then what they did next shocked everybody. I like the N-word. What's up with Goo? <laughs> That's man, how we feel. Weird. It's like that. It, yo, I know everybody, you're do some weird ass shit. Whoever feel type of way about that. Whoever feel type of way about us, fuck everything you stand for. Your mama, Plus your you grandmama. You fuck with them. Dead homie. Plus you. Because you just did some weird <laughs> shit. You, that's offensive to even ask about that? Yeah, because you like... You see how I just weird. jumped, I you jumped said, through hoops we, to not yo, say it. You said we went from... <laughs> next right, subject. Let's see what else we got here. All right. Um, What time is it? <laughs> it's actually 6 o'clock. Yeah, I got to go. It's time. It's traffic. You're over <laughs> it? uh -huh. I'm trying to avoid the 40-minute mark. Yeah, yeah. Freeway. <laughs> wow, okay. Well, it's just me and you, buddy. Nah. I feel like your interpretation of this particular clip would essentially be how you feel about Adam. I don't feel like Adam brought it up intentionally. I don't feel like Adam brought it up to diss them or insult them. 
I feel like Adam at that point in an interview was being restricted by the no gang talk. So he didn't really know what else to say or what else to talk to these people about. So he just said whatever he said. I don't think it was intentional, but if you do, that's your opinion. You know, I mean, what can I do about it, man? But let me know in the comment section, what do you guys think? Who do you guys think was tripping? Adam tripping or was they tripping? And if you're still watching, click on this video here somewhere on my screen to find out how DJ Envy's life is in shambles after the feds arrest another Breakfast Club guest. Click on this video here to find out what I'm talking about. Out of here, folks. Peace.